Changing a person's fate is no easy task, especially when their fate is death. The scene at the other end of the line is pretty much what I expected. All except for one thing. No, Lynn! Hang in there, baby! It looks like some piece of trash shot her from the top of, of the pile of garbage outside. Here, let me take a look at her. Maybe there's something I... Sorry, can't allow that, Pigeon Man. I investigate and you superintend. You have your job, I have mine. Let's leave each other to his own profession, shall we? Yeah, well here's what I think. How much of a pro can you be if you let her get shot right in front of you? I... Anyway, have it your way. Burger King, I'll stay out of your hair. Doc, what took you so long? Quick dragging your feet! Who are you to shout at me? Now let me have a look at the victim. I haven't even looked yet, but I can already tell you she's dead. Her second death of the night, actually. Hello guys, and welcome to TGN the Game Nerd The Show, where I talk about our play games that today we're going to be playing, Ghost Trick Phantom Detective. In the last episode, if you don't remember, we went ahead and... Nobody died last episode, which was a first for the series, and, uh, you know, we just went around, we escaped the apartment, and, you know, we saw the doctor, we learned more about, uh, you know, our death, and we saw one of the best characters in the game, Cabanella. In this episode, we're breaking our one-day streak of not letting anyone die with, uh, you know, Lynn over here. And in Ace Attorney, there's this running gag throughout the series that uh, Maya, your assistant for that game, is constantly getting accused of murder. If I had to make a comparison, that's basically what Lynn does in this game. She's just... She dies a lot. She's, she died, like, s multiple times in the first episode, and she's dead now. Unconscious this time as well, eh? Where am I? She's coming, too. What happened to me? Excuse me, are you ignoring me? Oh, uh, sorry. I'm still not used to talking with dead people, you see. Dead? So I'm dead, huh? Hmm, try as I might, I can't seem to remember who I am. You're starting to remind me of me. Who am I? Everybody seems to call you Lin, if that's any help. Lin, huh? Pretty cute name. And apparently, you're, dete you're a detective, too. Detective? You mean that super cool kind of cop that solves crimes and upholds justice? Sounds like a pretty subjective description, but yes, that kind of detective. Hey, wait a minute. Are you starting to remember something? There's no time to lose. Something really unusual is going down in this town tonight. Yeah, I certainly wouldn't argue with the really unusual part. That's not your face, you know. Take another look. You're the dead one. Oh, right, of course. It'd be pretty heinous if it looked like this, I guess, wouldn't it? I don't know if heinous is the right word. There, now this is more like it. Something really unusual is going on in this town tonight. Could it have anything to do with my death, I wonder? Tell me, what is going on in this town tonight? Don't ask me. Huh? I can't remember a thing. I think it's because I'm- I think it's probably because I'm dead. Ah, everything is so confusing. Can't you do something? Hey, you're asking the wrong guy. But I've got some things to ask you about. Uh, about me. I'm looking for the answers to, to the questions, who am I, and why was I killed? Do you, do you know anything that might help me? The only thing I know right now is that my name is Sissel. Your name is Sissel, huh? I think so. It rings some kind of bell anyway. I think I was killed tonight while I was meeting with you. So you must at least know me, I think. I was meeting with you? Yes, in the junkyard outside. Y 
Yeah, it's coming back to me. I remember now. I knew it. I knew you were the lead I needed. But I'm sorry. I don't think I can help you. Why not? Because I don't know you. What do you mean? I thought you just said you remembered me. No, I said I remembered something. I remember the fact that I don't know you. No way. Two strangers. So you don't know me, huh? Nope. Wish I did. So, do you suppose we're just two strangers who happened to meet tonight? No way, I don't think it was any accident. Why in the world would I be way out here in the middle of nowhere for no reason? I, I was asked to come here tonight. Asked to come? By who? Can't you kind of guess where this is going? You're kidding. Y you mean... Bingo! By you! I asked you to come here? But why? That's what I was going to ask you! Why did you ask me to come here tonight? Way out here in the middle of nowhere? You've gotta be kidding. Goes without saying that I don't remember. Ah, everything is so confusing. Can't you do something? Mmm. So I died, huh? Yes, apparently. I'm very sorry. How could this have happened? And after I just passed my test finally this year? My exciting career of catching the bad guys has just begun. And now look at me. Why did I have to go and die in an old junkyard like this? Poor kid. The shock is setting in. And so I told her everything that happened tonight. About ghost tricks, possessing and manipulating objects, and about going back four minutes before a person's death. This actually isn't the first time you died tonight, you know. You were already shot and killed once before tonight. And you saved me? That's right. You don't remember? Hmm, yes, I think I do remember something like that happening. Vaguely. Yes, I did get shot! By a blue man dressed in all black! I guess this means that even if a death is erased, the memory of it only rem the memory of it remains. So I died twice already tonight. Wish I knew what to say to her. Guess I'll just have to wait until she recovers a little. Hey, I bet that's some kind of record, don't you think? Uh, yeah, you're probably right. Looks like she pretty much recovered already. Lynn. I'm not saying you owe me or anything, but I have a favor to ask. What is it? In the next four minutes, you'll probably come back to life. When you do, do you think you could try to find out about me before tomorrow morning? Who I am, why I was killed. I'm really sorry, but I can't make any promises. Why not? I don't remember very clearly right now, but I think I was investigating a case tonight. A case that is very, very important to me. So even if I, I come back to life, I don't think I'll have time to find out anything about you. I know that's a terrible thing to say to a person who saved my life once already. I'm really, really sorry. I see. That's too bad. But I'm afraid I'm still going to ask you. Ask me what? Ask you to save me. Even though I probably won't be able to help you. I know it's selfish of me, I really apologize, but I just can't die, not yet, not like this. I'm investigating something important tonight. I think maybe that might be the reason I was killed. But I still want to solve the case in spite of all that. Am I out of line? Didn't I tell you a minute ago you don't owe me? Huh? I'm certainly not going to treat your life like some kind of bargaining chip. I'll save you. What do you do after that is up to you. Thank you. So, you ready to, go, ready to go back? Back to four minutes before you got shot? Lynn's second death. I'm heading back in time now to rewrite her fate. Faced with those circumstances, she could have just lied and promised to help me. But she didn't. That's when I knew I could trust her. Four minutes before her death. Alrighty. I have a bad feeling about this. Yes, sir! Detective, is everything okay? 
Oh, uh, I was hungry, so I was trying to get something delivered. What? Don't do that. Oh, I'm sorry. You should leave jobs like that to me. Is chicken all right? One chicken dinner. Oh, well, that's okay. <laughs> I'm not feeling very hungry anymore. I would like to go back to the station for a minute, though. You would? Oh, uh, I'm afraid I can't let you do that. Inspector Cabanel is on his way. He'll be here any minute. Speak of the devil. Evening, my patrol man. Good evening, Inspector Cabanello, sir. Nice work. Now do me a favor and take a little patrol around outside, would you? That's a nice fella. Yes, sir. Yo, how's it going, baby? Inspector Cabanella, what are you doing here? I thought the Special Investigation Unit had an important top secret assignment tonight. What does that matter at a time like this when my lens in a crisis? I appreciate it, sir. Wait a minute, did you just say crisis? Don't tell me I'm being suspected. Suspected of shooting that pointy haired man in the red suit? I mean, I've never even met that guy before. Never, baby? Oh, well, uh, before tonight, I mean, he asked me to meet him here. He said he had important information about the big case I'm working on. He's the one who contacted me. I see, I see. But it's funny, isn't it? I took a look at the list of cases your station is handling right now, and I didn't see you listed as involved in any big cases. You know, I don't suspect you, baby. Just trying to clear things up. You're not the type to ever shoot anybody. Hey, who knows you better than me, baby? You know, if anything ever happened to you... I'd never be able to look him in the eye again. Inspector Cabanella, I'm going to ask you a question. Yeah? And what's that? I want you to answer honestly. Is it tonight? Is that when it's happening? I have no idea what you're talking about, baby. Get down! It seems to me that baby is indeed under suspicion. By Inspector Cabanella? No, he's not like that. Just for the record, did you shoot me? Me? I would never do anything like that. Anyway, it looks like the hitman fired from outside. It'd be hard to prevent the bullet from coming in, though. In any case, let's just give it our tr a try. Our four-minute game. This is a let's play that I'm not going to be able to do a lot of talking in. Kind of like in uh, Ace Attorney. Uh, that let's play that I did, whoop, did not mean to go down there. How in that let's play I just kind of... Whoop. Didn't mean to go that direction. Gonna move right back over here. How in that let's play I kind of just read all of the dialogue. Occasionally chimed in if I could, but overall just didn't talk that much. I have a bad feeling about this. Yes, sir. Detective, is everything okay? Oh, uh, I was hungry, so I was trying to get someone to deli something delivered. What? Don't do that. Oh, I'm sorry. You should leave jobs like that to me. Is chicken all right? Sorry, doing this with a D-pad is kind of hard. Oh, what voice do I do for you? Hello, the chicken kitchen. You want chicken? You got your chicken. One chicken dinner, please. Would you like an order of fried chicken with that? Oh, that's okay. Uh, we're gonna stay here.
No sense in going over to the restaurant now. Right, can't eat chicken if I'm dead. That's not what I was talking about. The place we need to be now is outside in the junkyard where the hitman lurks. And the only way to get there is to use the telephone lines. So I'm wondering if I can go ahead and... Did not mean to do that. Uh, you'll remember earlier, she hid this little envelope over here. Huh? That's Lynn's notebook. Hey, wait a minute. I thought she was practicing a dance move when I came in. Nope, that was definitely suspicious, no question. I'd better report this. I wonder if I can make the call without her noticing. What's up? I've been watching Lynn just like you told me to do, and I noticed something suspicious. You did? So Inspector Cavanello was right. She was hiding her notebook when I came in. Uh, her notebook, eh? Yes, yes sir. In a very suspicious manner, and in a very conspicuous place. Anything else? Uh, let's see. It's pink, and it's a notebook. Anything else? Um... Let's see. Come to think of it, she was using the phone when I came in too and referring to her notebook. Okay, someone will be over later. Don't let on you noticed anything. And now... Hey, look at that! The phone line is glowing red. Hmm. I bet it would work if we tried it now. I bet you're right. The detective he's talking to is outside in the junkyard. And that's where the horrible hat man who's after me is too. Let's head on over there. We actually have some stuff to do over here, unlike the chicken kitchen. Which we will get to later, but not right now. I've been waiting for you. Eek! What are you? A desk lamp that sounds like an old grandpa? Just call me Ray. Grandpa Ray? You just have to get the grandpa part in there somewhere, don't you? We're souls. We could do any appearance we like. Which means you can you have no intention of showing us what you really look like, right? Now then, about no oh, forgot to read that. I heard it was way up on the upper level, a scant few minutes from now. The hitman is probably getting his rifle ready right now. Alright, I'm going in. I'll get him with those ghost trick thingies. I'm very sorry, young lady, but you don't have those powers. Huh? What? Why not? I'm afraid I don't know the reason, but only a special few have the powers of the dead. What? Are you saying I'm not special? That's not fair. Anyway, we don't have much time. Come on and hop in. Carry on, boys! That horrible hitman that's after me is upstairs, isn't he? Yes, apparently. In other words, we can't stop him if we stay down here. Let's go, then. I'm not really big on the idea of getting shot again. It's really satisfying whenever you do a bunch of, like, whenever you connect to a bunch of things in a row. How do I... Okay, let's try that again. Oh, right, for, for the uh, flag. I don't know why I was trying to use the tire. But yeah, I now realize the reason that this flag raises is because the fan blows it over there, along with the string, which is destroyed by the blender, which, you know, pulls it and allows for us to travel up to the top here. So let me make sure that, uh... Okay, so if this is on... Well, we made it! Now it's time to hunt down that horrible hitman! 
Must be around here somewhere preparing to take a shot. There isn't a lot of time. Let's try to find him fast. I'm going to make good and sure he understands what happens to people who point guns at others. There's a gleam in her eye that's absolutely blinding. So we're going to go ahead and turn this off first because we're going to use this to lure the hitman over here. I'll explain exactly what I mean by that in a minute, but now i got to wait for Cabanella to get on his bike right here because that allows for us to catch a ride on it and brings us right over to the other side of the junkyard. Hey. I see my target. Time to get to work. I'll be head of the Hitman Division by next month for now. Now, for sure. There he is! The horrible Hitman! I think his name is actually Tango, but that doesn't matter right now. We have to stop him from shooting. Fast. New info has been added. So we want to go ahead and flip... We want to go ahead and turn this light on. Because when he's in the light... He ducks away. There, we put a stop to that shot at least. We did it, so I'm safe now, right? Well, that changed your fate a little bit, but it didn't avert it completely. We're not done yet. The hitman is a professional, and he really wants, really, really wants to be the head of the division, apparently. I doubt blocking a shot here and there is really going to stop him. If you want to rough him up a little bit, I promise I won't put it on my report. Let's think of something else before he gets a shot in. So now the police officers will begin walking around, and now we just gotta kind of wait. It's the same sort of concept as the bike, where we just gotta wait, and then once we are close enough to where we can latch on, we can ride all the way across to the other side of the junkyard. If I want that position, I have to be careful of even the least bit of light. Division head is my ambition for this year. Next year, my motto will be, if I want to be director, I have to be careful of even the least bit of scandal. So it sounds like you won't show up in spots where a light is on. And next year, I'm going to spread some nasty, scandalous rumors about him. You do that. <laughs> Got this light on, which means he's going to move over to the far left side of the junkyard where there's no crud. Oh, look at that. One of the lights went out. There are three lights here all together. Apparently we can't have all three, on the, all three of them on at once. Our station is crazy cheap when it comes to electricity. Just so another detective could see what he was doing the other day, I had to pedal my bicycle in place to work the headlamp. Very sad tale indeed. Sounds like they're taking things way too far. So we can only have one on at once. I guess that one on the left turned on automatically. Not exactly sure why, but... Are you gonna... Oh, right. What I have to do is I need to go ahead and turn this on first. That'll get the other police officer moving. Hey, did, did you turn that flashing light on? Wasn't me. It, I'm just gonna give all of them the same voice. Wasn't me. It went off all by itself. Scared the heck out of me. Well, just make sure you lay off it. Don't want to waste any electricity. Have things gotten that tight? That's pretty sad. They're really putting the squeeze on us lately about using too much power at sites. They won't even let us use all of our searchlights at once. Oh boy. We ought to be free to do at least that much, especially on a dark night like tonight. So yeah, just imagine the police officers are all clones or something like that. So now we turn this off. And then we can ride back over there, turn on the light on the far right, and then we can come back over here and do what we need to do there. I'm gonna turn this on just so the police officer gets over here faster and then I can do go ahead and do that. What does this say? Hey, I told you to lay off that thing. I told you it wasn't me. Uh-oh, I think I might know what's going on here. This is the work of, you know. What? Hey, shut up, you're creeping me out. But you know as well as I do, the only explanation for mischief like this is... Inspector Cabanella! So they tell tales about him as though he's a ghost, eh? 
But Inspector Cabanella is a really, really a very nice person. Alright, open this back up, turn on the light, and now we've got the Hitman right where we want him. Nope, oh, wait, come back. Can I, like, do something here that... Ah, uh, no, I can't. Alright, yeah, he's right there, which is perfect position for something that we're about to do. Hmm, this is quite a distance from the target. But I can't work under a spotlight after all. Never mind, a shot like this is nothing for a man of my skill. Mr. Division Head seems to like dark gloomy places. I'd be happy to throw him in a dark gloomy cell. Come on, Sissel, get him! Hold up, when did I become her assistant? Now, if I pull this lever... Huh, nothing happens. That's funny. But this lever was for swinging the crane, crane arm around. I'd like to swing that horrible hitman around. Hmm, this crane. I wonder if there's some other way we can use it. Get back to that in just a second. Now it seems this crossing gate right over here is it's pretty helpful for our mission so far. We've had to use it twice. What do you say? Musings of a Hitman Part 1. When I fire a bullet, I put my heart and soul into it. My bullet is my soul. The shot is the expression of my soul. That's why I never waste bullets. Besides, I'd have to put the extra bullets down as an extra expense, and accounting never likes that. What the heck is that idiot blathering about? Hey, don't get mad at me. We have to stop this guy. <laughs> now we can go ahead and just... Uh, can I... I guess lower is the only option we have. Did you hear a scream just now? I'm telling you, it wasn't me. Nobody said it was. There. We found a nice dark spot for our gloom-loving hitman. I think your death has just been erased. Again. Why not, I wonder? Huh? Why don't I have powers like yours? If I could do things like you do, it could really help me pursue my case. Why only the special few, huh? It's not fair. That's the same thing the little doggy said, too. Well, I'm jealous of you, actually. You are? Why? Because your life can be saved, even if you die again tonight. I can save you with my ghost tricks. Nobody can save my life, though. Oh. These powers of the dead. Why have they chosen me? Will I find the answer to that question tonight? Sissel, I'm so sorry. Well, you're free to do as you please now. I guess this is goodbye, detective. Will we ever see each other again? If you ever want to see me again, all you have to do is die. Okay, got it! I was kidding. Well, I guess we'd better get be getting back to the present. Can't say the other thing because that's copyrighted. Lynn has escaped death for the second time. That doesn't mean she's out of the water yet. I'd better go see how she's doing. Indeed, let's go ahead and... I think we can use this to quickly get down to the very bottom, or at least close to it. There we go, now we're at the telephone. Well, it looks like congratulations are in order. You erased another death. But I haven't gotten any further in solving my own mystery, though. But that woman holds the key. Don't forget that. Lena. Now that she's alive again, she's probably still being detained in the super's office. She won't be able to pursue her case without the freedom to move around. I'd better go back to the super's office and see her. That sounds like a good idea. Let's head on back.
I decided to go back to the office where Lynn was being detained. With her changed fate, her story was sure to change too, and maybe that would lead us in some new direction. Now that Lynn is alive again, I wonder what she's doing. She said she was investigating an important case tonight. Could that be connected to me in any way?